Hello, J-Man here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Last we left off, we kind of helped a bunch of people with pets. We got ourselves a phoenix. Helped Deke out with his traumatic past. Got a unicorn, even though I already have two unicorns and a, a baby unicorn. But I got a third one. I'm hoping to get great horns in this episode. Hopefully they unlock. Don't know when they unlock. But... Now I'm about to get back into the story, because uh, we found Isadora's last few uh, pages, and she's uh, she's a bit crazy. She's a bit crazy. She wants to smell emotions. I don't know why. They must smell good. Smell like that nice lemon pine salt, I guess. I don't know. But uh, now I'm about to do the side mission, Portrait in a Pickle, for Conjuration Spellcraft that I will not be using. So let's get into it. Okay. Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear, that sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. A hovel of a place, though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvelous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. So, my boy job here is to be a snitch, basically. Alright, where is your portrait? Can't thank you enough for helping to save... Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Yeah. I don't know, out of 100, I say he's about. Maybe a 70 or 60. He, he's not 100% bad. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent really? four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The 
fame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's streaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Mm. So I should go get his frame. I kind of don't want to now. I kind of really don't want to. But that experience, though, I need that. Alright, that's enough for you. No. Uh, how about you transform and I throw you at your friend? Why do I keep using the city area? Goodbye. No, 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 don't throw the uh, stupid pedal. Revelio. Can't carry any more of my. Alright, got two cent. That's Wigan Well. Hmm. Is that else? Alright. What do you mean, new quest available? Okay, centaur and stone, so Poppy's ready. And then finding focus. Okay. I ain't getting no owls or nothing. Would you please oh, meet here we go. me in the great hall? I have come upon a difficult time, and I need a friend. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. All right. <laughs> That's what? Later. Okay. Hello, Hamora. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I have a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Returning you to the Three Broomsticks isn't my only option. What if I don't want to return you to the Three Broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the Hog's Head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the Three Broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. No, nah, I'm taking them to the hog's head. Me. It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. No, nah, we taking him to the hog's head. No, nah, you can't be lying. You, for one thing, you a snitch, but you a lying snitch. So nah, nah, nah. What for this? Leaving me in here with your unsanitary clutter. Get me out. 
Nah. Ain't you talking junk? Nah. Here you go. Plus, he'll actually hear more good information here. No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You brought me to the wrong place. It's absolutely vile in here. It's not that bad. Oh, give it a chance. You might grow to like it. Please, you can't mean to leave me here. Please. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. Yep. Oi! I normally toss the both of you out. I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. <laughs> this is an outrage. Do you hear me? An outrage. Rebellion. Yep. That's what you get for lying. Don't be lying on people. Now burning them, that that been kinda kinda dark. That's kinda kinda extremely messed up to do. Some days I'm not Nazi. Is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Mati Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Matty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. No problem. Now I gotta go speak to Poppy. At least we're out of the classroom. Yep. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. Seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. In the world, some bees right here, man. I don't think I've ever seen bees the whole time playing this game. Well, they exist. Wait a minute. Is those billy wigs? I don't even know what a billy wig look like. Apparently it stings you. You float for, for days. Oh, another trophy. The Intrepid Explorer. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Yeah. Can't carry any more Wigan Weld. Rebellion. What's through here? Bunch of nothing. A little bit of gold. Bombarda. 
just a little bit of on butter. Not new. Let me burn this. And did she just toss some chopping cabbages at that? Okay, this is the key I need to take it to. Revelio. Well, I guess technically key? I don't know. Saying words. Lumos. Lumos. There we are. Now I need to hit it with some depulso. depulso. There we are. Oh, that lifts that platform up. Rebellion. Oh, it's a gold chest, too. Trying to give me a legendary. Legendary! Let's go! Bombarda. What? Oh, it's two of those, um, what's it called? Whoopers or something? I know something with a W in it. Whoopers. Yep, whoopers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The whoopers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Revelio. Well, I have, uh, one whooper at my, uh, at my establishment. <laughs> It don't seem to be driving me mad at all. Yeah, swap that back out. Okay. Okay, I have that one that I don't need two of those. So I could get the pulse of one now. Okay, what is that? Revelio. Mm. Accio. It's here and so whoopers. I wonder if it's being protected. That is Rebellion. a strong possibility. Accio. Okay, that opened up. Why that. am I not surprised? First the whoopers and now this. Now I need, let's see, that door is just that, but you, and a circle. We need to find mods for those spinners. Okay, I need a, an, an, a triangle, and air bending, okay. Triangle, and air bending. Okay, now I need you and a triangle. Aha. See, I knew there was something. What is that? A decorative table? Why ain't nobody care about no decorative table? Oh, I done broke a vase, man. Alright, well. Lumos. Lumos. The runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Lumos! There we go. Now, let's just hit it with some Depulso. Depulso! Oh, 
All right. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Akio. Rebellion. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's like a whirlpool down there. I mean, it is, but. I'm gonna dive on in. Got me a belt. Ah, you always love a good old belt. Okay, that's wigging well. Actually, I think I got a few talent points, didn't I? Yeah, three. Let's see. Yeah, I don't care about potion rewrite that. Ancient Master's Throat disarms enemy weapons. You know what? We're gonna grab that. I don't want to pull like nine enemies towards me. I don't want to do that. You know what? Let's fill that magic meter faster. A way through there. Rebellion. Does seem like to be a chest over here too. <laughs> Must get treasure. <laughs> and that's about it over here. Bro, where even am I? I don't even know anymore. Okay, I'm back over here. Lumos. See, I don't know how to get that one that's down in that water. 
But it can't just grab these. Lumos. Yep, give me you. And I can put you right over here. Now I wonder what you want. Okay, that raises you up. And I'm probably gonna need you. Lumos. Yeah. Number one. Number two. And three. You did it. Yes, I did. Whoa, I better slow down, boy. Okay, ain't got time for this. Goodbye. Adoken! There you go. Bro, I ran out of my luck and I didn't even notice. I must stay lucky. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Dive on in. Close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Given what whoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. Any treasure in here? Hey, no, no. Oh, that's just that bowl in a way. No, it lands back in the water. I gotta go all the way back around. We found it. There it is. It's like staring directly at the moon. Scholar's moon star. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Okay. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. I don't think I really need to explore. There ain't nothing left. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. 
I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the world? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Seems like they're drawing something. That was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one, but two moon calf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen, a good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. 
That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. All right. All right, what's next? Looks like Logot's loyalty. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. All right, I am in here. Revelio. Look at the size of this one. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. Goodbye. Always get ten thousand things of wiggle room. This can't to get me deeper into the mine. Let's do it. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. How deep will this take? Red Road's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? That has to be the end up ahead. Revelio. Bit more gold. Love it. Uh, green item. Purple item. All right. Well, I'm just getting happy that it's just an item that I can just sell because it's never like a a leveled up thing. All right, I just need to pull that. I wonder where these pipes go. I like when it like tries to show me that, but even though in the last like main mission I was already doing that. An identified legendary item. Okay. Unexpected. going so I need to go there and they're below me Revelio. I guess I can go sneak attack him Bombarda. Go rack up. There is a chest, though. Is it through there? It looks like it's like over there. Bro, I can't even tell and deal with all them down there. 
Plus there's a chest down here apparently. Roll bait. Take that. I gotta stop doing that. Another legendary. Revenge. Legendary with troll boogies. Yeah. And here's the boss chest. Legendary. Now, hopefully, these legendaries are actually better items than what I'm wearing. If it's, if it's not, like, I had like five unknown legendaries on me. And like one unknown, like rare, and it was absolutely nothing. Only two things were good, and it was like the same cloak. And that was it. Rebellion. Okay, I lit that up, but I'm not seeing any pulley. I guess there's just no pulley down here. Oh well. Wait, what is this? Oh well. Head on up. Yeah, I'm not seeing no chest. Must be somewhere else. You know what I forgot to do? I had to fake this. Give myself a better chance of getting something good. That. Really? Oh, now it does it. It was at this moment he knew he messed up. I ain't no way, cuz. Pretty good. If I would have fell again, I swear, bro. Oh man, I'm just gonna slap. Well, I am playing like garbage right now. There we go. You only have one rock to blame. I don't like that it looks like it's supposed to be like a legendary item because it's gold. Thinking like I'm playing Diablo. 
which is reminding me I need to finish Diablo 4. I'd better light these boilers if I want to go any further. Oh well. I hope I can get the ramp up before Rod God does. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Bombarda. I have to find a way to stop that drill. Bruh, I don't even know my mic was on. What you that about to do? He's unfortunate. No matter. We will build another. I found this one lurking outside. Lord Gok. Come to make amends, little brother. I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? Don't! Are you all right? I'll never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time. Looking everywhere for the final repository. Searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! Abandon Kadabra! 
Uh, unfortunately that he missed. Unfortunate. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. That's crazy. Let's get on out of here. Now to get out of this blasted place. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. Unfortunate. No, oh, I know there's got to be other side missions out there. You gotta wait. Could be goblin loyalists in here. Complete the final one. Tell the keepers of Ren Rock plan. That's the last ones. This even gonna be possible? You're my summoner's court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed, I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while, too, you know. Of course. I look forward to playing against you. And I, you. I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't the chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? Now hold on. Perhaps another time, Professor. Ah, very well. Hold on. I gotta save the game first. You out here about to be set on max difficulty. Uh, I'm gonna put a little save right there. Ah, there we go. And now we can start. Professor, I'd like to play a game of Summoner's Court. I knew you'd come around. Shall we begin? Let's I'm do ready. it. No time like the present. Bro, just hitting that hundred. Bro, why is there. How are you gonna hit the hundred? There's no way. Ain't no way, cuz. Alright. Alright, I gotta hit this one. Recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio. Ah, I need a good angle. How am I even gonna? Because his ball's in the way. I can't. There's no angle. There might be an angle from there? What is this? This is all garbage. 
He gets a perfect clean angle for another 100, and I can barely even get a 50. Well, now, nicely played. Akio. Bro, I gotta get a hundred, but I can't get it past his stupid ball. His ball is blocking it. Bro, I need to get, like, I'm gonna have to go in the corner. Jesus. Bro, what is this game? This game's stupid, man. He always hits 50. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. He won't be able to make it up because my ball's in the way. Even if he did, he'll hit it and go back down. It blocks it. We all make mistakes. Well now, nicely played. All right, finally. Well, now, nicely played. Delightful to see such mastery from one your age. I hated this so much. So much hate. This took well too done. long. You've beaten me at my own game. I had a good teacher. A flatterer, I see. <laughs> Although I dare say it's not unwarranted. I shall accept the compliment humbly. As the new Summoner's Court Champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head. Summoner's Court Champion Gloves. Yay, it's done. This was so stupid. It was all RNG. If he were to go and hit that last one over here, you, you literally, you won't win it. You can't win. You can't get the ball past that, so you'll get an automatic 10. You can't get it from this angle because it hit that, and you'd be bounced back to 10. So, you have the RNG row that he hits these two. And then, if RNG says he lands over here, if he hits there, you better make sure you can roll it right past, right beside him. Like he did. I didn't Otherwise, it's over. Professor Ronan. Well, it was all based on RNG, sir, so... And you know what? With that, I'm gonna call it an episode because, like, I'm just, I'm just done. I'm fed up with this the whole summer's court. The other ones weren't even like half as, you know, stupid. I mean, you still needed to be skillful, but this was just ridiculous. Like, this is just so stupid. And then now that I'm actually like looking at it from here, it's even worse. Cause the tent is so large. And the ball is right in the small corner. You get a, it just bounces, just hits that, and well, you lose. You gotta get it onto this small 100 space. It was so stupid. But I'll catch y'all in the next one. Frederick Douglass out. <laughs>